I'm uh, Father Chrysostom Arthur from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm a priest at Archangel Gabriel Orthodox Church. How I got here uh, is an interesting story. I was raised in the Baptist Church. I went off to college in uh, North Louisiana in Monroe, very involved in the Baptist Collegiate Ministry, the BCM. So I went and spent my entire summer after my freshman year of college uh, in Yavapai County, Arizona, teaching vacation Bible schools. And I came back to regular life in college and was just feeling kind of empty, that there had to be more to the spiritual life than, than I was getting in the, in the Baptist church. So I bought a book on spiritual disciplines. It was called The Sacred Way by Tony Jones. This was the first time I had ever heard of the Orthodox Church. I didn't know it existed before reading this book. So there was a small Greek parish in our town. Going into the church, I just felt like I was home. I knew this is where I wanted to make my, my spiritual home. And I was received into the Orthodox Church in 2006. Being really involved with the Baptist Collegiate Ministry, I felt like you know, my, my spiritual life on campus was kind of missing. I discovered OCF, decided to found a chapter. I was the only Orthodox person in, in our OCF. A lot of my friends who were all Baptist uh, would come faithfully to the OCF meetings and were very interested. So they were willing to learn and open to, to hearing about these things. It was good for me because it often challenged me and becoming Orthodox at the time and learning, they often came with questions that I had to, to go find the answers to, uh, not only for them, but for myself as well. The other Orthodox kids in the OCF that I got to, to meet and be involved with, which was great uh, in my undergrad was, uh, I went to a couple of the regional OCF meetings. It was really the first time I was around Orthodox people my age. To be around all these people who were so, into their faith. <laughs> so I saw that I wasn't the only one, right? It was my first time being around others who were, who cared about their faith. My first exposure to people from other jurisdictions as well, it helped me to, to wrestle with being an Orthodox Christian in a place where there weren't a lot of Orthodox Christians around me. It, you know, we need to be a light to those around us. If anything, if not encouraging for ourselves, to be encouraging to those around us and to share our Orthodox faith with those around us. Um, I became Orthodox in a place where 99.9% .9 of people around me were, were Baptist. So it was, it was great to be this OCF on campus, to be this light of Orthodox Christianity to those around us. <laughs> large numbers of people involved would be uh, amazing. I think it would be great if if all the Orthodox would just come together and and be there in fellowship to strengthen each other. And that's, you know, the purpose of the OCF, to bring us together so that we can grow in the faith and to not only grow in the faith, but to not lose our faith in this difficult time in, in college when a lot of our preconceptions about the world are being challenged. <laughs> And I think these experiences are important for the young people so that they can be encouraged in their faith and be able to share it with others. It's a very important ministry to support. Because uh, like I said, this is a time when our our children are going off and their, their worldviews are being challenged, right? Uh, and they're not getting that Orthodox perspective in the classroom most of the time. This is a time when they're going to be solidifying their beliefs for life. I mean, I know that it happened to me. Um, and OCF is kind of this, this bastion of, of Christian belief, a safe place for them to come and to, to live as Orthodox Christians and to discuss those hard things that maybe they're talking about in the classroom or even talking about outside of the classroom with their um, their fellow college college mates. <laughs> As students are coming back onto campus, uh, I would just like them to be encouraged in their faith and to know they're not alone and uh, to know that God is with them, uh, even if it seems like he may not be there on campus because there's there's so much crazy stuff going on campus all the time. Uh, but but God is there and, and he's he's ready to be with us if we just let him.